Lovely Ann Van Epps. Enjoy her comedy. Hey guys, you ready to hear some comedy after that amazing music set or whatever? Yeah. <sighs> I just had like two cents. Are you guys going to be quiet or am I going to talk over you? Thank you. Thanks guys for yeah. silencing yourselves. This guy's on his phone, it's fine. You don't have to pay attention. I watched yours, but it's cool. Um, <laughs> Hey guys, um, my name is Anne, and uh, when I go out, my pronouns are apparently ma'am. Um, but they're actually she, her, it, and Crystal. And my love language is live, laugh, leave me alone. So you guys, I found love recently. <laughs> Which is kind of amazing because, you know, I like being alone. Um, and I just want to tell you that it's with a human man, not an inanimate object. Which is a possibility, I found out. Um, but yeah, I uh, gained the freshman 15 being in love. That's what happens. Are you, have you guys been in love? Are you guys in love? Do you know about that? or do you, Oh, I was pointing at them and they looked at you, so I just let you speak. Um, but yeah, I gained fifth, the freshman 15, and then um, I have a muffin top now, um, and I'm actually covering it up so you can't see it. Um, I Do you ever do that where you look in the mirror and everything looks fine, but then you start moving and everything gets messed up? Or <laughs> So I don't know if you guys can tell me if it's okay over here or... Give me a nod. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I uh, performed in a, a weed room last night where everyone was high, and I was talking abnormally slow, and I realized it was because I was also high. Because um, contact highs are real, I found out. I called my sister, and she's like, yeah, you sound funny. <laughs> um, so anyway, you guys, I, I'm in love. I know that when you watch comedy, you don't want to hear about happiness, but I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna say some stuff. But you know, it's just crazy because like we're in love with each other, which is new for me. Because usually, like, I'm in lust with someone who's not interested in me, and that person is in lust with someone else who's not interested in them, and it just keeps going on forever, <laughs> like, a, like a dick caterpillar. <laughs> this guy knows. Uh, um, have you guys seen the movie or uh, read the play Midsummer's Night Dream? Yeah. yeah. Sure That's the plot it. a bit. Oh, it's not your turn to shine right now. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm proud of you for memorizing lines um, on stage. So, so it's, no, you're right. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, that, that caught me off guard. Oh, it's fine. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, when I met this guy, I told my mom that he was ethnically non, wait, eth ethically non-monogamous, and she was like, oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry for you, I'm so sorry, and I was like, oh, I'm sorry, that's not right, he's ethnically amphibious, or what? <laughs> I, mean, I always forget the word, anonymous? Ambiguous. Ambiguous, yes, he's ethnically <laughs> ambiguous. No, it was okay, because I asked the audience, and you're allowed to respond. <laughs> <laughs> You gave me too much information last <laughs> time. That would shift the, you know, it would go over here and, okay. <sighs> All right. Um, I, I'm going to check my notes. You guys, this is new material, so I'm still, the difference is you haven't heard it yet. Um, oh, oh, okay. Okay, so, you know, I, I have never been in love before, it's my, it's my time. It's my time to shine. Um, 
it's really awkward because he's sitting right here off to my left. I can see him out of the corner of my eye, but I oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, but it's weird, you know. Like I really dove, dove, dived, dove in, dove, <laughs> yeah. cloven, cloven. cloven. I do dove yeah. right into love culture. Like we have pet names for each other. Like he calls me the bride of Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I call I call him a bunch of things, but Pig Boy is one. And it happened because I like overpronounced Big Boy, and he heard Pig and started oinking at me. <laughs> um, but I just feel like you know he wants to start a metal band, and I'm like that would, Pig Boy is like a great name for a metal band, right? Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Yeah. No comment. <laughs> no, you can say if you say. I don't know. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I, I live with my sister, but I haven't been home in over a month. And uh, I think she turned my room into a yoga studio. Oh, bye, guys. Bye. Bye. See you later. Oh, thanks. I guess you got to get home to your curfew. You should cry school tomorrow morning. Uh, what grade do you think she's in? She's a junior, probably. Yeah, like 11. 11. Yeah. <laughs> what was I talking about? Do you remember? What was I saying before? Sister. That? My sister. Oh, that's right. Thank yoga. you for paying attention. Yoga. Yo, yeah, she turned my, my, my bedroom into a yoga studio, I think. Um, but anyway, yeah, my, my, my mom was like, yeah, you know what? It might be good that you haven't talked to your sister or seen her in a month. Um, because I was a little bit worried that you were going to be in a polyamorous marriage with your sister and your cat. <laughs> <laughs> um, but my cat died a year ago, so it, it would have been like my cat's ghost. <laughs> <laughs> it's making weird noises. Like, you can just not do that. Oh, it's Alex. Sorry. Alex, you had your time to shine. You know, right. I'm, I'm sandwiched in between you and you again. So <laughs> I'm shining. <laughs> That's true. Speaking of that, have you guys heard of the Shamoy Pickle Kit? Are you guys on TikTok mm -hmm. or Shamoy Pickle Kit? Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you, it sounds like she's the only one that knows what it is besides me. Or Okay, so basically what it is is it's a giant red pickle in formaldehyde. And <laughs> it, that's what it looks like. It's like red liquid um, that's not sweet like you think. It's salty and vinegary. Um, what, and what you do is you you take a bite out of the top and then you gut it and then and then you fill it with hot takis and sour sketty and sour powder and sour liquid and you wrap it in a fruit roll up <laughs> <laughs> and you take a bite of it and it's too big for your mouth and it just takes let take it just tastes like I'm biting into an old man's flesh. <laughs> <laughs> because like the takis are the bones, the the fruit roll up is the skin. Happy birthday to Joe Biden, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what that means. It's his birthday. Be quiet. I'm not sorry. <laughs> Shut your trap. <laughs> that has nothing to do with the shamoy pickle kit at all. <laughs> He ruined it. Um, but you guys, so I would advise you not to try it. I ate half of it and threw the rest away. And then I had a huge craving the next day for it. I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? I threw it away. I don't want to spend, I don't want to say how much I spent on it. But um, so I got a dill pickle, which is much more easy to put in your mouth, ladies. And <laughs> I, wrap, I wrapped it in a watermelon Jolly Rancher flavored um, fruit roll up, oh. and it covers the whole thing, which is great. No sour sketty. I added um, what is that called? The Cheetos, flaming hot, flaming hot Cheetos. I added those, and then I put the sour sauce on. And you guys, it's just to die for. <laughs> it's so good. Are you guys gonna try it when you get home? <laughs> it's so good. Like it's like sweet, sour, salty. It tastes like an old man's flesh. It has everything you want in a snack. <laughs> and it like lit, lights your mouth on fire. So like you can't really taste anything after. Therefore, you know what's that called? Wiping your appetite. So you like it's a great diet technique. Oh, I palate think. cleanser. Palate, palate cleanser. Yes. 
but the opposite of that. <laughs> like a palate. Like your mouth is like literally on fire. So. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, okay, let's see. I don't, how much more time do I have? Oh, I thought you were gonna say five because that's what you usually say. Okay, so I was, so me and my boyfriend <laughs> were, <laughs> were like thinking about going on a, like a romantic date and one thing that's trending is apple picking is like this romantic date that you do. So have you have it has anyone here gone apple picking? Yeah. You have? yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you like okay, so basically what it is is you go pick a bunch of heavy ass apples and then you're just <laughs> stuck with them. <laughs> and it's not really a New York friendly food, like if you have more than five in a ba bag. Um, when I was a kid, we would collect them and we put them in a big barrel, and I could, I don't know, it just seems so annoying, and I'm like, I could just see myself pulling over and just rolling them away from me, <laughs> <laughs> like after we had the experience, right? right? right. It's just for the experience. Was that entertaining enough for you? Glow above the eye. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you on your phone. Were you scrolling? Were you? What are you doing? I don't care. Okay. Um, <laughs> one minute left, probably. Okay. So you guys, I have this like expensive lipstick my mom gave me, and it fell in the toilet, and I still wore it. Um, <laughs> But the thing is, is it has a lid on it, so I thought it was fine, but I don't think it was because I started developing mouth sores, <laughs> and I popped one of them, and it was a little bit satisfying, but I stopped using the lipstick, and the mouth sores went away instantly, so I'm pretty sure that's what it's from. This isn't the lipstick, don't worry, it's a different one that I'm wearing, so I'm not going to get it germs on that. I, re I really like being up here. Can I just say one really fast joke really fast? Yeah. You guys want me to say one? Okay, this is, okay, this is not really a joke. It's just something that happened. Um, so um, I started working out again with my boyfriend. We, he, we're not on the same, you guys were not on the same machine, don't worry, at the same time. We're not. <laughs> like ghosts. We're separate. Okay, oh, no, okay. We just go together and then we instantly Stop separate and do separate. I'm, I'm my own person, okay? I'm my own person. But I told my mom about it and I was like ashamed because I knew she would not hit like, um, what is it called when you're not allowed to be in the family anymore? Oh. Disown me for going here, because oh, right. I go to Planet Fitness, because um, it's free for me, so I just went, and you, everyone puts it down as being this horrible place, but you guys, it's just a regular gym. It's a regular planet. It's just a regular gym, and except everything's covered in a layer of dust. <laughs> Have you guys been there? I feel like you probably go to Equinox. Or <laughs> <laughs> I can't see all, all your features. What? Who are you talking to? Him, because he's staring at me, I think. I'm not sure because it's I'm right. just watching the show. <laughs> oh, am I the, I'm the show. Okay, I get it. I forgot. You're right. I'll, okay, you guys, I blacked out for a moment. Um, <laughs> all right, well... Uh, that's it, I guess. I'm done. <laughs> 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 Performing next, you can follow me on Instagram at Annie in the City 2020. You can get out your phone now and follow you guys. Get out your phone. Get out your phone and follow me. Are you guys gonna follow me? Annie in the City 2020. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take a very brief break, and then my band, Joseph and the Severe D.